speak to our correspondent Imtiaz Tayeb, who's in Abadabad for us right now. So Imtiaz, uh, people there had a bit of time to digest all this, uh, the fact that they had the world's most wanted man living right under their noses. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the, the reaction to the news that Osama bin Laden uh, was captured and killed here right on the doorstep of this neighborhood uh, has been mixed. Uh, reactions ranging from confused to bewildered. Uh, some people even finding it amusing that uh, America's most wanted fugitive, the man behind the September 11th attacks in the United States, uh, was here in their town of Abbottabad. Now, I'm actually here with an eyewitness by the name of Jahangir Khan. Jahangir if you just stand right here for me. Jahangir, uh, in the early hours of the morning, you heard some explosions. Tell me what you saw. Actually, uh, I was uh, almost awake, actually, 1 o'clock. I was talking to my friend on UK on, online and Sky, and I hear the helicopter was moving. And I was talking to my wife, what's, what's happening? And we were a little bit scary. We came out, and I have seen the helicopter. I went to uh, top of my roof, and because it was totally dark, there was no lights, but... I have seen them. It was, uh, I think it was Apache helicopter. Uh, so they was moving around 12 o'clock. Then they start firing a uh, few minutes. Then they came again, few minutes firing. Then around one o'clock, we went inside. We thought, I don't know what's happening. Then by one o'clock, we went inside. And then 1.15, we hear the explorer, like big noise. Then we scared and we came out uh, from, we jumped outside from the house and we saw all the people was going up to the, then we went up. Then I hear the people was crying there somewhere like, then we run there because my cousin is living there, right? It's five minutes walk if I run from my house to there. Then we run there, me and my brother and few other people, we run there, but when we were there, there was all fire going on, it was nothing. And uh, then army, came over, the, they took over, we were there until 4 o'clock. Okay, so you woke up in the morning and then you heard the news. It was an assault carried out by the United States in which they captured and killed Osama bin Laden. What did you when think when you heard the news? When I came back at 4 o'clock from there to my house, I opened the news and this says uh, about the Osama bin Laden. I was shocked. And to be honest, I'm living here all my life. And you know that if somebody new comes in your street, in your area, you always know, like somebody is you, you can feel them, you can see the movement. I, I ever seen anything like that. I can't believe that. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people in your neighborhood have said that they were suspicious about this house. Were, was there anything about this house that you found suspicious, that you found strange uh, to about To be it? honest, I always go in the evening, walk from my house to the same house where uh, they said the Osama bin Laden. The next house is my other house, which I rented to my cousin friend. And I, every day in the evening, we went there by walk with my wife for the just walking. I never seen anything like that and that's why I can't believe that. And to be honest, it's not true. Osama, maybe some other people, but Osama is not a, you know, the bird who came, fly, went to the inside because this is restricted area. When we came out from outside to come here to, always army will say, hey, where's your ID card? So it's not belief. Unbelievable. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, uh, an interesting reaction. That was Jang Yar Khan, a local resident here who said he walked by this house quite frequently and just really had no idea or certainly would never conceive that Osama bin Laden, the world's most wanted man, could be living right on his doorstep.